Hello guys, uh, today we are going to take a full look at the syllabus for biology, okay? So if you are in any of the uh, medical sciences, you will need to uh, pick biology as a subject combination in your examination, alright? So uh, in case you have no, uh, uh, do not know anything about jam examination, alright? We have done a series on how to jam jam, okay? It's a series dedicated to uh, knowing everything about jam exam is on this Facebook page or on our YouTube channel at O3 Schools or on Facebook at Olabitan God. That is the handle of your commander on Facebook. Okay, so if you are part of this O3 Schools army, it is very necessary to understand that uh, the jam syllabus is a very table tool to your success in your examination. All right, it's what guides you on what to study and what to read. All right, so uh, so that you do not go and read. Some other parts that are not really uh, necessary as to relate to the examination okay so please today i'm going to look at the biology lab so ensure you like this video for please please if you're watching ensure you like this video like the video and of course make sure you share click on that share button on facebook share to your profile so that other people can also see this video and of course don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel also all right so um now today we're looking at biology so if you are if you are picking biology as your subject in your subject combination rather you are writing 29 subjects take note of that okay sorry i meant to say 29 topics okay i'm going to study 29 topics a total of 29 topics in your jam biology but jam biology topics can be kind of broad so you have to make sure that what uh you are up and running so in those 29 topics if you are taking one a day that means in 29 days you'll be able to complete your full biology syllabus okay but uh we know that because of how large some of those topics are it may be difficult for you to uh what's it called to, for you to be able to finish all the topics within a month okay but of course if you are serious there's nothing you really cannot do so uh by 29 topics it actually means that you can actually finish your syllabus like two or three times before your main examination okay and then you now back it up with past questions so if you have the o3 school jam submit practice app then success is for you all right so if, if in fact the o3 school jam app is for students who want to pass their exam at once okay that uh, i've made my decision that this exam is once i want to write it and it will be over Okay, I'm not thinking about jam again. After my jam is admission, you should go and get that out to the school jam. I've asked all the past questions you need. It has, uh, because after studying, it's good to follow up with past question. All right. So some of you say, does jam repeat past question? All of these questions are what you have dealt with in your in your jam, how to jam jam series. So let us see. So we are writing, uh, we are going to what, reading 29 topics in your jam biology. So uh, this is the syllabus. Say the aim of the uh, unified tertiary matriculation and examination UTM in syllabus in biology is to prepare the candidates for the board's examination. It is designed to test the achievement of the course objectives, which are to demonstrate sufficient knowledge of the concept of the diversity inter in that interdependence and unity of life uh, to account for continuity of life through reorganizations, uh, inheritance, and evolution. And three, to apply biological principles and concepts to everyday life especially to matters affecting living things, individual, society, the environment, community, uh, health, and the economy. So uh, the detailed syllabus, the first uh, part, this uh, the first part of the syllabus, okay, uh, 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 talk about variety of organisms, variety of organisms, and the first topic there, of course, is living organisms. Under living organisms, I'm going to see the characteristics, the cell structure and functions of cell components, the level of organization, all right, they are going to see, talk about the cell, all right, the tissue, organ, organ systems, okay, and organism, all right. And then, of course, the second topic under this first part of variety of organisms is uh, evolution among uh, the following, okay, uh, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, all right, and under the plant, of course, talk about the Talophytas, Bryophytas, Teridophytas, Spermatophytas, and then yeah, uh, EPA, talk about Animalia. All right, talk about multicellular animals. All right, then uh, the top topics under this is uh, structural and functional and behavioral adaptations of organisms. Okay, so as you can see very clearly, all right, so we're talking about uh, B part adaptive coloration and its functions, C behavioral adaptations in social animals, D structural adaptations in organisms. Okay, then going to uh, the B parts, I will talk about forms and functions. Okay, internal structure of a flowering plant and the internal structure of a mammal. All right, so all of these are uh, 
are what we're going to look at. And these are on the on the right hand side are things you should majorly what put your focus on. All right. So the syllabus is very very important. Then the second topic on this second part is uh, nutrition. Okay. So modes of nutrition. Okay. Autotrophic, heterotrophic types of nutrition. And uh, talk about plant nutrition. All right. Talk about animal nutrition. All right. And the likes. Then number three, as you can see, evidently is transport. Okay, need for transportation, materials for transportation, excretory products, gases manufactured, digested food, nutrients, water, and hormones. Then, of course, talk about channels for transportation. All right, then, as you can see, evidently, mammalian circulatory system, the heart, the arteries, the veins, and capillaries. Talk about plant vascular system, phlegm, and xylem. Right, all right, then, talk about media and processes of mechanism for transportation. Then, number four, we'll talk about respiration. All right. And of course, on the right, on the right hand side, we we'll see what we are going to focus your attention on. A part so talk about respiratory organs and surfaces. B says the mechanism of gaseous exchange in plants and mammals. C say aerobic respiration, and D say anaerobic respiration. Then the fifth topic under this is excretion. I talk about types of excretory structures: contractor vacuole, flame cell, flame cells rather, nephridium, amphibian tubule, kidney, stoma, lenticel. Then talk about excretory mechanisms, kidney, the lung, skin. And then C part talk about excretory product of plants. Then number six, talk about support and movement. All right. Then of course, under this, talk about tropic, tactic, nastic, and sleep movements in plants, supporting tissues in animals. Then the C part talk about types and functions of the skeleton, exo, endo, function so of the skeleton in animals. Then number seven, talk about reproduction, the, 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 one of your best topics in class. Okay, this is the one that you see everybody laughing like, like who they are drawing the air out of their nose. All right, so uh, talk about asexual reproduction, fission as in paramecium, budding as in yeast, uh, natural vegetative propagation, artificial vegetative propagation. Then B, talk about sexual reproduction in flowering plants, about floral parts and their functions, uh, pollination and fertilization, products of sexual reproduction. Then C, you talk about uh, reproduction in mammals, structures and functions of the male and female reproductive organs, then fertilization and development. A to talk about growth, the meaning of growth, germination of seeds and condition necessary for germination of seed. And number nine, talk about coordination and control, the nervous coordination, talk about the sense organs, hormonal control, right? Then D, you talk about hemostasis. Okay, so uh, this is the C part now. Okay, so this is the part C, as you can see, ecology, all right, ecology. Uh, and the topics under ecology, one is factors affecting the distribution of organisms, abiotic and biotic. Two, symbiotic interactions of plants and animals. See, all of these topics are what you are going to be looking at in biology. All right, then A, say energy flow in the ecosystem, food chains, food webs, and tropic levels. B, say nutrient cycling in nature, carbon cycle, water cycle, nitrogen cycle. Then we'll talk about natural habitat, aquatic, e.g. ponds, streams, lakes, seashores, and mangrove swamps. They'll we'll talk about terrestrial slash arboreal. Then number four, we'll talk about local Nigerian biomes, the tropical rainforest, the Guinea savanna, Sudan savanna, desert, highlands of mountain forest, and grasslands of Obudu, Joss, Mambila Plateau. Then number five, we'll talk about the ecology, ecology of the population. Ecology of populations, talk about population density and overcrowding, adaptation for survival, factors that bring about competition, infra and interspecific competition, uh, relationship between competition and succession, talk about factors affecting population sizes, biotic and abiotic factors. Then D, you talk about ecological succession. Number six under ecology, talk about soil, characteristics of different types of soil, sandy loamy, the clay, soil structure, porosity, capillarity, and human. Uh, humus content rather then talk about components of the soil in organic organic soil organisms soil air soil water talk about soil fertility the loss of soil fertility renewal and maintenance of soil fertility number seven talk about humans and environments talk about diseases common and endemic diseases talk about easily transmissible diseases and disease syndrome such as uh, poliomyelitis Cholera, tuberculosis, sexually transmitted diseases, symptoms, uh, sy slash syndrome, talk about gonorrhea, syphilis, and AIDS. Then B, you talk about pollution and its control, resources, the types, the effects and methods of control. All right, talk about um, sanitation and sewage, talk about conservation of natural resources, talk about game reserves and national parks. Then, of course, talk about uh, D, hereditary 
heredity and variations heredity and variations okay part of this is uh, number one the first topic uh, this is uh, uh, another part now the first topic here uh, is variation in population all right morphological variations in the physical appearance of individuals size okay color fingerprints talk about physiological variation ability to roll tongue ability to taste okay financial carbamide ptc talk about blood groups C, we talk about application of discontinuous variation in crime detection, blood trans transfusion, and determination of paternity. Then, two, we talk about heredity, inheritance of characters in organisms, heritable and non heritable characters, talk about chromosomes, the basis of heredity. Then, we talk about structure, uh, process of transmission of hereditary characters from parent to offspring. C, we talk about probability in genetics and sex determination. Um, Okay, talk about application of principles of heredity in agriculture, in medicine. Okay, talk about sex, link characters, e.g., baldness, hemophilia, color blindness, and the likes. Now, the fifth part, which is evolution, we we'll talk about this is the part many students, okay, uh, usually what uh, want to, they just want to all learn, all right, because they find it difficult to really understand evolution. Okay, so the first topic I'll talk about uh, theories of evolution, that's Lamarck's theory, Darwin's theory. Organic theory of evolution, then two evidence of evolution. All right, so that is the last topic, evolution, is the last part and the last topic. All right, uh, so please, you are supposed to even calculate. If we add all of these uh, topics together, okay, you are going to have a total of 29 topics that you are going to, and they are very, very broad, all right? They are not really, they are not just really too easy like that. Okay, they are not really too. They are very broad, all right? So you need to actually well, be able to finish all of them. An 11-minute video. Okay, so I've recommended text by Jam, all right? Texts that you have to watch, uh, that you can actually get most of these topics from, all right? So we have uh, Undu, FOC, Undu, Abun, and INAJO 2001, Senior Secondary School Biology. Okay, books one to three. Then we have Odunfa, 2001, Essential of Biology. We have Ogunui, M, B, ADBC, and Oko, J, J, A, Biology for Senior Secondary Schools, Book 1 to 3, Macmillan. Talk about Modern Biology, all right? Um, Ramalingam. Talk about Stan, Biology for Senior Secondary Schools. Revised Edition. Talk about uh, Biology for West African Schools also, all right? Talk about Uswa, Handbook of Practical Biology. All right, so I'm going to add one. This uh, Modern Biology, Udodo Ume. Okay, Udodo Ume. Udodo, U D O D O U M E H. Okay, and then of course we have a lot of tutorials, all right, uh, as related to biology on the O3 Schools channel on YouTube and Ola Bitango on Facebook. Okay, so please ensure you what you study all of these topics at least finish the syllabus like three times before your main jam exam to be very very sure of uh, success in your examination. You cannot do without the jam syllabus. All right, I do not want to make this topic uh, this video too long. All right, so I'm going to stop here. Thank you for joining in. My name is Master T. I'm the commander of the O3 Schools Army. Download our O3 Schools Jam CBT practice app and start immediately. You do not have so much time. All right. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next one.